Hi everyone and welcome back to Scrap Edit Creations. I'm Diane and today we're going to be completing pages four, five, six, and seven of the Joy of Christmas is Family book. So let's get scrapping. I started this book quite a while ago before my surgery and I want to get this finished because it's been sitting on my shelf. So let's just do a little refresher. We've got the Joy of Christmas's Family. Um, we've got a couple tags right here, which is nice. A magnetic closure on this one and another tag. Some definite picture spots. This one right here, we've got this tree. Um, photo spots, you know, this is just a magnetic closure. And then we have just a standard pull out. I didn't put anything on that one. It's very tight right there. So a picture probably unmatted for that one. And then we have that place. So the next pages we're working on is this one. I have planned this whole book out and I have a cut file that I'm going off of for the six by six book. I will um, supply everybody with the cut file as soon as I can get some pictures on it of the completed album. I will add it to the blog. So this is the bits for these pages so far. I do have magnets as well. So I need to kind of set some stuff out. Let's, let's start with this side. I'm just going to get the basic papers down. Gosh, I'm going to put this on the inside. Okay. And let's put a photo. No, let's wait on the photo mat. Okay. And Okay, so this one, I'm looking at my, my little chart bit, probably should not have taken those off. Okay, we are going to put this on this side. Now, how did I do it? I want to make sure I'm doing it the same way. Okay, so I just attached there and, okay, yep. That's what I thought I would do, but you never know. Every once in a while, I, I do things a little differently. You know, wouldn't want to do things the same all the time, right? Okay, grab my adhesive and pull that pen out. Let's see here. So we're going to put a magnet in here. Let's grab one, one little one. And put that down. I'm going to add some wet glue, not a lot, just a smidge, to that area. And then let's put this down. Now I'm using the Christmas story paper still. I was very excited to continue working with this because I, I do like this paper. Let's see here if I can. There we go. I just, um, like I said, I hadn't been able to get my hands back on the paper for a while. Okay, so the nice part about having this between the papers more so than um, having so many layers between them is that it gives a little more stability when I'm working with them. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. We've got a photo map for right there. We have a photo mat for here and a photo mat for here. Okay, so there's for that one. And then this side over here, oops, we wanna do it more on this side. Okay. okay. And let's put those magnets down. And let's see here, right about here should work. 
Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't think I took the, did I take the adhesive? Yeah, I did. Must have. I have no idea if I did or not, but it's sticking down. So I'm going to go with the assumption that it was taken off. Okay. There we go. And this one. I didn't put any wet adhesive on the inside of this one. I'm sure that it's fine. I was just over adhesivizing. Okay, then we've got this paper. I almost used the back side of this, but I felt like I was kind of using it a little too much. So I switched it to the black. I do, I really like these words. The tis the season, meet under the mistletoe, heard the bells, walking in a winter wonderland. Um, something about family. Let's see. Can I see what it says about family? Hmm. Nope. There's a joy on there too. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, so. Before we start putting these photo mats down, I need to determine what we're gonna actually do to these pages. So I have some bits on the sticker sheet still. I have these bits and these, as well as, let's see, some ornaments, some stockings, some little tags. I have a wreath and these bits. And I have these little doily pieces. Oops. I have this tag, which, well, that's I'm not planning on using. I have a candy cane, a mailbox, and we have these circles. I'm going to set those aside. Okay, so let's look back here. And we've got a doily here. So we definitely don't want to put a doily on this next page. Maybe in a couple of pages we'll do something. Um, so I'm going to set these aside. We have this bit. I like the black because it's tying in this back paper. Let's see here, grab a photo mat. So if I've got a photo mat here and I put something, let's see here. Oh, I could kind of angle that. I'm liking that. Okay. I'm gonna go with that. I put one glue dot down to hold this down in place and it is wiggly. <laughs> Grabbing some pop tape and just putting that at the bottom. Oops, I do want one at the top, but I don't want it attached quite yet. Oh, I like that with the little clipboard. That's really cute. Okay, so that works. Now let's go to this one. We've got a photo mat here. This one we cannot put anything popped on. So that is definitely problematic. Oh, I like that against the black. Um, we've got some stamps. We also have some hearts. That could be kind of cool. Oh, I think I like that. Okay, I like that. That looks cute. And I like how it's pulling the black in for this page. Oops. So we'll put this over here a little bit more and then we will adhere these down. I 
I thought I had a lot more to do to get this going. And I found that everything was already cut. And I was just like, why haven't I not finished this? So I thought this would be a good day to finish this. Oops, put this pin back in here. Okay, so now we've got uh, this part. I like the idea of this. What I'm debating is this, where did it go? There you are, this little tag. And how that would look. Looks kind of cool. Hmm. Then we have that. Okay. Hmm. Almost there. these little tab pieces which are adorable mm, not feeling it though what about a poinsettia what do we have here these are from the die cut sheet the reds don't match I'm thinking no on that mm. We do have this little twig piece. Oh, I like that. That adds just amount of, oh goodness, a good amount of bits to it. Let's see here. Okay. The nice part about this is I can cut these and keep using the edges. Okay, let's see here. If we do the black, we do the green, and then we do the holly jolly over the top. Oh, I like that. I think that'd look really cute. It does limit your picture usage on this page, but I think I like it. Okay, this one right here, I think I'm going to secure it down. Let me grab my adhesive. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to run with that. I know the other ones have been able to come off of the page, but I think I want this one just to stay there. And this piece, I'm going to put, yeah, I kind of messed this up by using it on that, um, the plastic. Okay, so I'm gonna go like that. So I popped this piece and these are flat. And then these two pieces, let's grab some scissors. I have inked all of these. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. I've inked them all with um, pine ink. Okay, so the amount that I want to show, I have quite a bit of area I can work with right here. So I'm just gonna cut this kind of in half. Not that one, that one. I cut some stuff with that, so of course that's very sticky. Okay. Let's put these here. I kind of want overlap. There we go. Now I can put this photo mat down. And this piece, I am just going to add adhesive at the end. 
There we go. Okay, so this one, oh, except for this black piece of kind of a branch. Let's add a little tiny bit of adhesive to that. I'll just stick that right there. I like how that pulls out the black too. And these are so easy. Once you have them um, all cut, they go together really quick, which is another reason why I'm surprised I hadn't finished this. Okay, so I haven't used any of the stickers on this one. I'm gonna set that aside for a sec. And this one, I have these tags and I was thinking about putting tags in here that we could pull up. Maybe just one. Let's see, I already put the adhesive on these, of course, so mess that up. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got this one right here. Set that up there. And put that down low, and then I can add something up here, like maybe this. It kind of gets lost, even though the red is in there. I think the more solid green, yeah, the solid green one that doesn't get as lost. And so that's a great place to put a date or something on this. Okay, and then we've got this front one. That totally gets lost on there. This way kind of does. Let me see if we put some green around the edges, if it stands out more. little bit. Let's see if we can add a little bit more. Not too much. Yeah, that stands out quite a bit more. Okay, so I like that, but it needs a little more something. I These are so red, which is probably why I had them kind of sitting aside. Oh, I like the heart there. Yeah, that looks cute. Very simple. So again, you wanna keep these kind of simple. They are gonna be manhandled, and so you don't want too much on them. What's nice is that you can add pop tape to the outside part. Actually, I think for this one, I can take it off of both, okay. Just don't add pop tape inside, like under here, cannot have pop tape, um, just on the top bits. Okay, I like that with the heart. Okay, now we still have this piece. So we have that, and if we did that, it's not working as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to save these for another page that I haven't already adhesivized. Okay, so then if we go up higher on that one, let me see, I could have sworn I had another piece of holly. There it is, okay. Kind of intermix this. Okay, that could work. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's completely hidden on the bottom. So that actually is not a bad thing. There we go, it's um, moved over. Okay, so that is hidden. I have this rejoice. I like that. Okay. Okay. So 
So let's kind of put that down and then possibly add some tape if it would ever work. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I want to continue with this one leaf. Gosh, I almost feel like I should take it off. I'm going to just take that leaf off. There we go. And I want to keep this where you can't see it. So we need to go a little bit this way. And then this one, I can just kind of put in there. Actually, I like how that frames it. You can see just a smidge over here, and I'm not going to stress over that. And then I'm going to add this rejoice just right there. Normally, I would wait till the picture is on there, but since I'm doing this for the video, I'm just going to leave it. Very happy with that. Let's take a look at the two side by side. Okay, let's look at these. Uh, those look really nice. I'm happy with that. Very happy with it. We've got a little bit of a tag right there. We've got some of the sticker here. We've got Holly. And then over here, we've got the same. So we have the landscape horizontal version. We've got the portrait vertical version um, on the page. And that balances out really well. I'm going to get these attached and uh, then we'll move on to the next page. Okay, got all of these pieces inked as well and the photo mats, I got them to this point. I didn't put adhesive on them because I wasn't exactly sure and now that I'm thinking about it, I was kind of playing with this doily for this page and I think I'm going to just add the adhesive to this top one to start off with. So the unique thing about this page is that it has two flaps. Like the other one had two flaps, but they're kind of like tag flaps. This one is a bracket. And so it's going to open this way. And this one's going to, and because they're not on here yet, and that'll open that way. And then we'll have areas in the middle. Um, it's pretty intense. <laughs> I did forget to grab the magnets. Let me grab those real quick because we will still use magnets on this. So there's two for that side and two for that side. I'm just going to put them someplace closer to me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually adhere these bits to the flaps. And they are in a cut file, which is nice. So you don't have to like do your own measurements. You might have to do a little tiny bit of trimming here and there. I did my best on the file. I have it overlapping. It looks like it fits right. I know that mine didn't fit as right, but that is because mine was the, the template to start with. The one thing I will recommend is when you cut these on the Cricut, that if you're using a pattern paper, you make sure, see how like this is going the correct way and this is going the correct way. If I was using the, um, well, this paper, which is a mix in from that period, or grab this, like this poinsettia paper, that one or the plaid wouldn't matter, of course. But when you're using um, a pattern like this, you have to watch your the way you're going. So let's grab this one and put these on real quick. It's going to feel so good to have this done and off of my my little pile over here of projects I need to finish. 
I try not to stress on stuff, but it definitely gets a little stressful when I've got too many projects that are bundling up and I need to get them done. Want to get them done too. You know, it's like I would love to have all this stuff done. Okay, so the only other thing I was thinking about doing was inside this piece doing a little bit of a tab, which I should not have put the, this piece down. So I'm going to pull these two up a little bit <clears throat> really quick. I need some adhesive. I'm going to try to put a lot of adhesive. And by a lot, I mean two right there because I don't want it going all the way across and I want it right about here I completely forgot that that was my game plan let's grab some more adhesive and then I'm just going to put it here and not worry that it is off the the bit off the little piece and then I'm going to hand cut this this little strip is not in the cut file. This is something that you would have to choose to do if you wanted to do it. Okay, so we've got this side done. And the reason I did that is so that I could do this on the inside. Okay, and I'm gonna do that also with this side the same way. And I kinda wanna keep them even. So let's grab some adhesive. Um, there we go. This would probably be another place to use the um, stamp and seal, maybe even the extreme one. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now I at least know that they are going to be even on both sides. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, make it easy for myself. Oops. And trim this. Oh, you know what? This part right here is not inked. There we go. Okay. That I'm not going to care for if it's not the same. I've got to have it matching. So let's just kind of pull that off a little bit and add a little more. This is what I keep as baby wipe close by because I keep getting inked on. Okay. Very happy with that one. I had thought I might, and this was a stressed, a stressed might, put this sticker right here across there, but when I was laying it up, I didn't really care for it, so I opted not to. This would be a great spot to do some stamping or maybe even one of the words like we could put the joy there because there's not any other red on the page that actually would look great and it is on chipboard so it's got a little bit of height to it but not too much there we go i like that and this one we could do oh i like that too that's cute okay Again, this one's on chipboard as well. And we have the two pictures. One thing I would recommend after you get your pictures on here, if they are, you know, visible enough for you, glue them down. You know, just kind of glue the tag down so it doesn't move. I did forget to put bows in the video on that last page, but I did go back and put it. This one I was able to put in the center because it's a permanent one. When they are not permanent, 
if you're not going to put it through the tab, which I didn't care for how that was looking, you want to make sure that you put it just below the little circle area, okay? Just to finish off those little bows or finish off those little tags. Okay, so now I'm going to actually, I'm going to add this one right here and take this bit off. And these are pretty much the same size, if you can see that. So I'm going to add that. Oops, added it a little too close. Whew, that is very strong adhesive. Might not have been my best choice. <clears throat> okay, that looked pretty. I really like it. Okay. Oh, shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do the magnets. Silly, silly me. Okay, well, we are going to do a magnet now. And right about here. There we go. And I know I put magnets on here somewhere. Uh-oh, I might have lost the second set. This one's not opening as well. Let's grab different ones. There's we go. Okay. Let's see if I can remember to put adhesive on both sides. The extra adhesive, I should say. It does have a little bit of bulk to it, which is not great, but let's see. It, it works, so that's good. Which this one right here will not be covered enough. So let's see here if we put that like that. I was thinking maybe of using this piece on both sides and that would help cover that. Okay, so let's kind of trim this. And I'm trying not to cut through um, the branches as much in case I need the branch there. Okay. I'm going to put this on with wet adhesive because I really want it to stay. I don't want it to move, especially since I forgot to put the magnet on under the paper like I should have. And then we'll put that there. And we'll put this picture, maybe we'll move this out a little more. Probably should put the picture frame down, or the photo mat, I should say. Put that down before I try to put this little piece down. Okay. Yeah, you can't even see. That's awesome. You can, though, see where I had some glue right there. So we'll come up with something for that in a smidge. But it's looking really good. I'm very happy with that. And I do love when the little flaps stay down. Now over here we could put, we could actually put a larger photo here. Maybe I want to do that. Let me go do that and I will be right back. Okay, I got them cut, and then for some strange reason, in my rush, I pulled off the backing for this one. Oh, there's where I said it too, because I'm like, I thought I put one over there. So I'm going to put this as close to the um, right side as I feel comfortable with, and let's check it. Yep, and you don't see it, which is nice, and you know what, I think I want to go up a little higher. So if I go up higher... Let's check. Yep, still can't see it. I can add maybe with the pine green, but then I can add embellishments down below, which is nice. Let's try this with the, the pine ink. 
Yeah, the reason why I'm pausing to cut the photo mats and bits, well, one, you don't need to spend so much time wasted while I'm doing that, that does stand out quite a bit more, so that's nice, is because I am inking all of the edges on things, so I don't want you to have to sit through all of that. Let's see here. It needs something else. I'm not sure what. It's kind of boring. So let's grab these. Um, hmm. What should I put here? I could go with some kind of a circle since there's circles on the other part except that I can't put pop tape and I would want to pop that one. So that's a no-go. Hmm. I could put like three of these. On this side, what do we think? I am not loving that. I think that looks just weird. Okay, so that's a no. I could put... Hmm, what about presents? We could always do some of these presents. I do like these presents. And I, I kind of go back and forth on the presents, though. Kind of maybe put them, oh, not red next to it. Let's see here. Kind of frame around the picture. They kind of get lost at the bottom here. So could always put something down here to kind of allow for basically a, a date or information about the picture and then have that frame so that the picture goes down into that. Do I like that? I'm not loving this shape. I didn't love this shape either. We do have this tag, but uh, let's see what else we've got. What about that one? That could work. And it ties the reds in. It does have the black, though. And I could do green on the other side with the pine. I think for what I'm going for, that will work. So I'm going to add adhesive only to the very bottom of the presents. And I think I'm going to kind of stagger them back and forth like they were haphazardly put under the tree. Okay. There we go. And then some. Okay. Yeah, I can live with that. Let's see how that goes. The problem I forgot about was if I put this on these tags, grab my glue dots. Might as well just do it while I'm thinking about it. It might not close because this is a lot of bulk. Oops, did I not grab it? No, it stayed behind. Okay, so those are dressed. This is not gonna stay closed. I am actually not gonna worry about it too much. One thing I could do would be to put some ribbon around it and tie it. That's just a lot of bulk on this. Let's see, the other option would be, let's see here, put a picture in that and that would close. I'm 
and I'm not using the tags that I just made. Oh, what to do? Let me see here on this side. Let's. Now the tags have I, I cannot not top the tags. So I think we're gonna have to toss those over there, and just put a photo in here that can come up, and be changed out. Okay, I think that's how I'm gonna have to roll with that one. Okay, this other side. Let's put the magnet on first. Let's lift this up so I don't have the same drama. Okay. There we go. Magnet is hidden. Okay. And this piece right here, we will use this dampen seal. And I'm gonna take this piece off. Put this piece down. And then I'll just add stamp and seal, stamp and seal here as well. And I'm forgetting about the second magnet. Not good. Okay. Okay. There we go. Add some wet glue. And I'm sure that I mentioned it on the the first couple of videos, or I think there's only one other video. It might be two. I don't know. I did not go back and look. Um, the reason why I add a little bit of wet glue here and there is actually to keep um, a book that is going to be manhandled steadier. Okay, so let's set that up there. And I'm gonna put this here. I'll have to go to that other video and grab a lot of the bits because I don't believe I have as much info as I did last time. It's going to take me a bit to go back and find, find out what I've used. Aside from, what is it, Home for the Holidays? No, it is Home for Christmas paper. And the only reason why I know that is because I have a zip strip right behind me. Okay, I li I'm liking that. I like how that mimics it, and then it opens to this wonderful um, display of photos. I am a smidge sad that I don't have the tags here, but I am also forgiving myself for it. Let's see if I went down lower on this one. Do that. What I want to do, because we've got the presents again. We could do them up top. Grab presents. I need some green ones. There's a green one. Okay, let's see here. So we've got kind of a light green in there. I need to be careful though because I don't want to do um, the wrong red. Although I'm kind of intermixing reds, so I guess it just doesn't matter. So maybe those. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking the presents, and since I cut so many of them, I'm glad I'm using them. Make sure, yeah, looks good. Okay, 
Now for this one, I'm going to go more towards the top of the presents instead of the bottom because then you can slip that photo underneath. Almost think, yeah, I'm going to slide them slightly under too. Yeah, that'll be good. that and put that little guy right there now the only thing that's bad perfect is I would like to put something at the end of this but I'm not going to because it would just be too bulky okay so let's look at this finished project and these were pages six and seven of this book so we've got that, and then they open up, and we've got places for photos or journaling. Okay, so I will add these to the book, and then um, actually, you know what? I think this is going to be it for this video. We'll do the last two pages. I think it's just two more. Let's see here. So that one, one, two, oh, there's three. We will do the last two possibly three on the next video because this one's getting way too long so have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you soon thank you so much bye bye